Hello everybody, today we are going to change the radiator on the Kenworth T680 2019. So it's got a hole, I'll show you. There's a wet spot, the sun is kind of reflecting, but there is a wet spot where I'm pointing the camera right now. <clears throat> That's where the leak is, and it's all running down. And already start dripping there and uh, yeah so I got a new radiator already from the northern radiator this is a part number and yeah gonna be a big job all right I'm in the process of uh, taking the radiator out um, and what we're going to start to do is first of all we're going to have to drain the antifreeze which is right here on the bottom there is a drain plug and this big pipe two and a half inch pipe so we have to drain the antifreeze uh, then we will be taking the first uh, ac condenser uh, intercooler and then we're going to get to the radiator uh, so we'll be taking this uh, tank, a uh, antifreeze tank, the windshield fluid tank, and uh, yeah, let's start to drain uh, antifreeze. Uh, you guys gonna need 516 uh, six star to unscrew that plug on the bottom. You will need uh, three of those uh, Harbor Freight five gallon buckets. I've got two full already and this one about 70% uh, full uh, and it's still draining a little bit but I guess that's that's it so you will need three five gallon buckets to drain the antifreeze and I bought the lids so I can put the lid on the top and then probably reuse it all right, AC condenser is off. So basically four bolts, one, two, three, four, which is located over here, two, and then the same on the other side. Uh, then you're gonna have to take uh, the security bracket here and here in order this hose to flex, same on the top and when you guys do that make sure you have a wire because i wasn't prepared and i had to use a black tape in order to secure on the side this ac condenser after condenser ac condenser is out so we're taking this bottom uh, antifreeze hose and always use a clean rag to plug the um, holes so make sure you won't get any dirt in there so we take this bottom off we take this ones on the top off also again put the plugs or rags in and then we take in this one which is i did there next one's gonna be the main top main bottom uh, and then uh, intercooler right and then on the other side too and then we're gonna start taking the intercooler taking those four bolts out all right, trying to get this inner cooler out, and uh, yeah, I come across a problem. Uh, trying to separate it, and I push it towards the grill, and I can't because I guess I found out that there is a, a bent going into the pipes that will not let me go that way. So I'm gonna have to take the expansion tank off, windshield uh, windshield uh, wiper fluid tank and then this thing's gonna have to go up so i already got bolt off loosen up this one it's a swivel here loosen up those clamps and on the other side cut the clamps loose bolt so yeah this thing's gonna have to go up in order to take the intercooler out uh, 
as you guys can see I took the antifreeze tank off got it out out of the way uh, the windshield fluid tank and in order to take it off I have to lift this thing up uh, this inner cooler and it was a kind of a little bit of problem because this bottom bracket was sitting in this rubber and it was kind of hard to get it out so what I did I'm gonna show you on the other side I use a pry bar and basically work my way up a little bit here then went back on the other side so yeah this is a pry bar that I use it and basically I was just prying like that up as you guys can see it's going up to a little bit so and this is how I'm gonna be lifting this thing um, I guess it's holding up pretty good because this is too tight here and on the other side and yeah basically what I will be doing is just prying on one side and the other side till I get release this top and then hopefully I can lift it myself uh, this thing but yeah those brackets locked in those rubbers and basically you can't get it out unless you start prying on both sides one side and the other side a little bit time by time okay cooler is off and I'm gonna show you how I did it so I guess this thing wasn't that heavy that I was expecting but I'm gonna show you how I took it off myself so basically like I said you're gonna have to pry it with a pry bar off of those bottom rubbers and then when you get this bottom bracket free and exactly the same thing on the on the other side so what you have to do is you're gonna climb up in here to the center you can step it in here this is metal should be okay and then from here from here you can grab it with your two hands and lift the whole thing up so that's how I got it out and yeah, I just wanted to show you so this is antifreeze there and the leak is I don't know if you can see it but yeah that's the area where the leak was not sure somebody hit it uh, something hit it or or what but or rusted out corroded but yeah I guess I'm gonna be taking this um, shield off and trying to get this radiator out of here taking radiator housing uh, apart slowly so basically what do we need to do we need to start unscrewing those 10 millimeters uh, bolts out uh, one two no one two three on the bottom the same on the other side three on the bottom and then the center one uh, you guys not gonna see it but the center one uh, up on the center I didn't take it because I hopefully I don't have to separate this whole thing I didn't take this one out too so now I took the top off in order to take the top off I'm gonna have to unscrew uh, take the pins off so this is the pins and the clip so you're gonna have to take that pin off and then you're gonna have to take four bolts uh, one two three four on the other side and the top the top housing of the radiator comes out next step will be to take uh, this those cross members uh, not out one and on the other side I'm not gonna be touching the bottom ones and then the last but not least uh, will be those two bolts so I'll take those two bolts and then this side ones is coming out and exactly the same on the other side and then hoses are disconnected radiator hoses the bottom one too and then hopefully I'll take the, this side off the other side off and then radiator should come out all right guys uh, sides are off and all what I have to do is just pull the radiator out uh, I guess by watching uh, YouTube videos uh, I was preparing myself for a little harder job but I guess it's it's easy so if you guys have some skills you can easily do it yourself uh, with some tools 
So as I said, two bolts that came out off of this bottom and then those cross members, I separate, I unscrew the nut, which is, was over here. So basically very easy. Sides are off and I don't even have to mess taking this housing off for the fan. So this is all still attached. All what I had to do is just take the 10 millimeter uh, bolts out all the way around on this side, on the other side, except the bottom center. I didn't do it because I'm not taking this bottom uh, piece off. So that bolt stays off and all, also I can show you, you can see it, it's there, the bolt and also it's very hard to get that bolt. So don't even try it because you don't need to. Yeah, so getting the radiator out and putting the new one back in. Radiator off and wasn't hard. So it's, can do it yourself. One person can do it easily. And for owners that uh, have, uh, I don't know, below 2019, probably the same, but uh, 2019 and uh, 2020, 21. Uh, it's very easy to work here. I'll explain you why, because this piece metal on the bottom, this support, you can actually walk through here, stand with your feet on this piece and rest your back feet on this crossbar. And you can easily pick it up, pick it up the radiator and the intercooler and do it yourself so this is this is very very easy and you guys as you guys can see yeah antifreeze everywhere and yeah that's what i had to leave i didn't take that off cross member stays and i'm going to show you radiator so all this wet and it started i don't know if you can see it it started somewhere over here wet spot and it just ran down fills this bottom this bottom all all wet and yeah that was leaking so got the new radiator and we'll be installing new radiator new radiator in so just gonna start putting everything back together Put the sides top and then start assembling everything back uh, with a new radiator came a kit with the two pins locking washer and uh four bolts the one that I, I was talking on the bottom those two nuts so that's two bolts on one side two bolts on the other side and then the pin goes here radiator um, back in housing finished i got i just got it done and uh yeah so just gonna have to secure with the 10 millimeter bolts uh this plastic shield on both sides and basically put the intercooler put back the ac condenser put back the reservoirs and yeah should be done everything back together So it's ready to go. Just gonna have to put antifreeze and test it out. Which is, I'm gonna do it when it's gonna be not so sunny like it is right now because it's way too hot. So I'll do it this evening and test it out. But yeah, it took me was making a video so it took me probably half a day since I was learning but if I would be doing a second time it's probably would be three hours uh, I would say the most so 